Hey YouTube, it's Dynamic Zero with another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at port forwarding. If you don't know what that is, an easy way to explain it is your router kind of acts like a bouncer at a club, except he filters the type of traffic that can come in and out of your computer in different doors. So uh, if you think about it like that, uh, it makes sense. Yeah, that was my fail attempt at being funny, but whatever. Okay, so port forwarding is important. Um, for a lot of different applications. Sometimes if you have a game that needs to go online, you're going to need to port forward. Um, uTorrent sometimes, some people have to port forward. Uh, a lot of different applications need port forwarding in order for traffic to flow in and out for uh, different reasons. So let's get down to it. First, what you're going to need to do is go into start and get your command prompts. That's CMD, enter, and you'll get this uh, screen. Now we need to look at your uh, network to try and find out the IP address of your router and uh, your IP address on the router. So type in IP config and hit enter. Okay, scroll all the way up. Chances are it's one of the first ones. All you need to do is look for your card. This is my Bluetooth card or a network adapter or whatever, Ethernet adapter, and here is my wireless uh, connection. This is what I use. So if you look at default gateway, that is the IP address of your router. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Firefox. And right here it says 192.168.1.1. So let's go 192.168.1.1. It's going to prompt you for a password. If you don't already know your password, uh, chances are it is still the default password uh, for what it came with. Um, you're going to need to go online and get your default password. I'll have a link to a list of default passwords in the info box. Mine is just admin for the password. Okay, now, here's the thing. If you do not have the same router as me, this is going to be different. Um, if you have a Linksys router, it should be very similar, but here's the thing. If you don't have a Linksys router and you're following this tutorial, don't ask me, but how do I do it on this router? How do I do it on this router? It doesn't work. It, blah, 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 blah. I know I'm going to get tons of messages, but I don't have your router, so I don't know. It's going to be different on every router, but this will work for any Linksys router, basically. Um, if you have my router exactly, it'll be obviously exact, um, but this should give you a general idea on how to do it for most routers. Okay, so now that I got that out of the way. Okay, once you're in your router, look for something that says applications and gaming or if you're on a different router it might say something else but it, the screen should look generally the same so click on applications and gaming and that will load up your screen for port forwarding port triggering uh, port range forwarding mine's not loading okay so I'm on port range forwarding uh, and that's basically what I want so you're gonna get a screen similar to this depending on your router it'll look a little different but this is generally what we need. So yours might not have an application box, but most routers do, and I'm pretty sure every Linksys router does. So in your application, put the program you're going to port forward for. So I'm going to put in PI, that's that's uh, abbreviation for the program I'm port forwarding. And then the start and end port uh, should be the same if you just want to open one port. Um, obviously, it would do every port in between if you did different ones. So I'm going to put in 3460. And 3460 oh, hackers, you should be able to figure out the PI and 3460. Oh. Um, protocol um, you can do TCP, UDP, or both. Some of them have different um, different options like HTTP, SMTP, all that kind of stuff. I always just leave it on both because it covers both of it. Now, IP address if you have multiple computers on your router, um, your router is going to want to port forward only for the computer that you specify. So you need to tell your router which computer um, that port forwarding is directed to. So let's go back into command prompt. And right here we see IPv4 address, 192.168.1.102. That is my internal IP address. So I'm going to do that, 102. Hit enable and save settings. And a screen should come up to confirm that you have actually saved the settings, um, at least for all Linksys routers like I said before here we go press OK okay and that should be ready to go okay it's as easy as that to port forward um, that's all you need to do you can check to see if the port is open by uh, running your application 
Uh, it should normally tell you no matter what it is. There's also various websites and programs online that can tell you if your port is forward. However, I wouldn't trust websites all the time because sometimes your router automatically blocks tra uh, port 80 traffic on that port. Um, that's more complicated. But uh, yeah, so that was the port forwarding tutorial. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.